Okay, so with the supermarket now suitably cleaned and suitably glitchy, <laughs> as I say, that will go away once we sort this whole place out. So with this all sorted out, we're going to work on making this place look a little nicer before we get going. So um, I've already taken the liberty of putting some walls in to um, take away those holes in the wall. But uh, it doesn't particularly look very nice. It looks kind of horrible, a lot of this. I'll be honest. So I have played around a little bit with re-walling it and out here looks much nicer. I mean you can't even tell that there was a hole in the wall here. So that's what I'm going to be doing as the next stage. So this looks pretty good. Now what do we need to put a generator in here is the question. Well a fusion one needs quite a bit more aluminium, crystal and nuclear material. What do I need to put an industrial generator in here? That'll be under Homemaker. Now they all need a fair bit of nuclear material. Even the small fusion one. Right, in that case we're better off waiting. So, I'm not going to install any power just yet. That's fine. We're going to leave down there because that's just an exit way. Oh, bloody hell. So we have snappy builds and one of the toolkits is an interior building kit. And one of these is concrete. Theme 3 is some very nice fresh looking concrete even with you know holes in it and, you know it looks busted and smashed up oh blimey you can get the concrete grate as well so you can actually make stuff look like it's under construction nice but yeah all of these are like rebar style concrete so this is what we're going to do. We're going to re-wall a lot of this. Because all of this looks horrible. Absolutely horrible. Unfortunately, if I drag it too far forwards, it looks very out of place. But with this concrete wall here, it should look fine. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> That's better. Uh, yeah, that's not going to cause a problem, I don't think. Yeah, that's fine. That, that looks in parity to me. And then we need one more here. Like so. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, these shelves will need to be removed via um, console commands, as you probably are aware. This wall looks disgusting, so let's put in some concrete here to rewall it. like that. Yeah, that doesn't matter too much that it's protruding away. Um, if I remove this ceiling piece, can all of these do that? Uh, no, just a couple of them. The ceiling I might just have to put up with, to be honest. Right, I'll tell you what, let's see what we can do with console commands, because if I can snap if I can snap in here as easily as I did, or as easily as I can here, then removing and replacing the ceiling is not going to be too bad. Okay, yes, that does open into the void, but let's try a vanilla 
a warm deco ceiling. Do we have ceilings? Okay, no, we can put floors in though. I can't tell which ones have got... Ah, there we go. All of these look... Oh, that doesn't... Yeah, unbroken. Yeah, that's what we want. Unbroken. That looks much nicer. I reckon we can do this. I think that we can really make this look better by putting in these unbroken ceilings. You know what, we're going to do that. Ah, oh, that was fog. Yeah, we can do it. Fantastic. Oh, uh, I saw a ghoul ambush. Right. There. Cool, that's removed another spawn point. That's what we like to see. Yeah, these, um, these ceiling panels all need to go. That was fog, which is fine. We can remove the fog. Well, I don't think I was supposed to have removed something in that corner. But hey, that's all going to be sorted out eventually. Now, does that not look like the dog's nuts or what? <laughs> Looks much better much more comfortable and i think we're going to do this for the rest of the supermarket because these drapey horrible ceilings will look so much nicer when they're redone I keep hitting the insert button for the console command because i'm used to doing that for another game that i'm playing at the moment it's not fun Out here, I don't really need to touch anything. Um, yeah, the ceiling looks broken, but I think if I remove these, it will sort of compromise the, the sort of layout a bit. So I don't really want to do that out there. And I have other ways of decorating that anyway. So let's resealing this. Much better. Re-roofed. Uh, I can do the same in here. Mm, the ceiling in here looks fine. It's concrete, but it's in good shape. So that's fine. Uh, in here is also fine. Uh, this wall I can more than likely fix. I don't know where that leads, so I'm not going to break it. Though, I'm inclined to believe that's going to be the wall above the stairs here. So I think that would open up into the void. So I'm going to avoid doing that now. We'll leave that for a while. Yeah, let's, uh, let's change out the ceiling in here. I mean, it's not like we didn't pick up enough concrete, is it? Lovely. Hmm. 
No more manky old ceiling. That's what we want. So yeah, out here is fine. This is fine. All the walls have been redone. Okay. I want all this to match, so if I put another piece of concrete wall over this, what's going to happen? Gonna leave a few bits of concrete sticking through, which is gonna look awful. Uh, tell you what, can I disable this wall? Yes, I can. Okay. Yeah, of course. And this part here is solid, but it's not solid on one side. So now, if I put this piece of concrete in... No, leave that where it is. Yep, and... Oh, for God's sake. Uh, that's better. Okay, it's, it's got a tack on it or two, but I can live with that. We can cover that up pretty easily. So yeah, you can barely see the problems in here, which is good. Not that I'm a fan of covering up my problems, but you know what I mean. <laughs> God, that looks glitchy as fuck. Uh, where is it? There's the handle. Cool, so this has been rewalled, which is what we want. Uh, the floors in here I can deal with later, uh, as we make this place habitable. But the corridor here looks good, I th think with maybe some carpet. Some proper carpet, this could be a nice little transition area. I think we need a power source though first. We need to light the place up. Oh, yes, of course, we forgot about this. There's a question because it's a custom uh, settlement, what kind of shops can we get here? Okay, so we can get a level 3 trader. So we can do it through the mats. That's fine. Uh, what about regular stores? Ah, okay, we can get a level 3 shop in here as well. That's brilliant. But we can't get a bar. Can we get a bar here? No, we can't actually set up a bar and restaurant. How strange. Hmm, okay. That changes things a little bit. Right, what I'm going to do is pop off back to Sanctuary and I'm going to get some nuclear material, some crystal, and what else did we need? Crystal, nuclear material, and aluminium. So I'm going to go and get those and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got it. I've got enough for the generator. 
Nice. Um, now this is static, so to drop a quick cheeky save and same all. That was fog. That was more fog. Ah, phew, we can do it. Oh, you can delete the concrete wall behind it. Nice. Excellent. So, make sure the conduit faces this way. Nice, fresh generator. Hmm. Isn't that supposed to like look like it fits here? Aha! Yeah! So we got it working. The generator now works. And this we can, well, I suppose leave as a backup, which would be good. So, connectors. How much resources do I have for some strong connectors? I've got enough. Ooh. I think I might have to drop this. Yeah, because the conduit goes through the ceiling. Like that. Then I can pop that back in place. Then put the conduit here. That up here. Perfect. Right, I'm going to put some conduits and we'll get this place. Okay, so <laughs> looks like my exploit crashed. That's nice. First time it's ever crashed like that. But yes, the fusion generator works. Fantastic. Now, this place is really dingy, so. Definitely want to get some lighting in here. I'm going to wire the place up, get it all sorted. Uh, so, need a conduit. Strong. Okay, that's not going to go through. So, we'll wire it down here. Uh, so, if I. If I wire this up and then go round the other side. Actually, I can just wire this all the way through here. But then the wire sort of it hangs down a fair bit. So, no, let's uh, let's sort that out. Let's get some lights in here. So the best lights I've seen so far are these ones. Ah, oh, much better. Now we can actually see things. <laughs> We need one more in here, so right there will do. Gorgeous. Uh, lights in here. What does this look like? Ah, shit. Okay. So we're a little bit out of range down here. Uh, 
Now, since this is going to be a living quarters... Good. Okay. So out here, what do the industrial lights look like? Oh, they're pretty powerful, actually. We'll use these. This will create jobs for the... Uh, for our residents. They'll be able to work out here, repairing and maintaining the generator. A lot of stuff we can do here. Now that's got a light on, but we want another couple of backup lights along here. Keep this um, much more inviting, much more well lit. Now defense isn't really going to be too much of a problem, but we are going to have some Minutemen guards. Now this floor needs replacing. And this door right here, yeah, it can disable that. Can we fit doors in this stuff? No. Okay, so the door frames don't actually snap. That might be a problem, but we'll overcome that. Okay, that's not a decal, so I can't scrap that. Let's take this down, because I think I'm going to make this into an armory, like a Minuteman armory. I think that would look really, really cool. I want this to be a place that people are really going to enjoy living. And we're going to have a few of these custom settlements, depending on uh, what's available, really. Okay, so that's been cleaned out. Uh, this this can all be cleared out as well. Oh, fuck's sake. Bulletin boards. These crates can be repurposed, to be fair. This is going to be an armory. This needs to go. Now, I'm fairly certain from looking at what I've been doing with my mods here that I cannot recruit Minutemen settlers. So I may have to either cheat and spawn in some new ones from... Oh no, I can't. Because I can't transfer them here. Because it's not recognised as a settlement in the game. That means the only option I have is to console command in some Minutemen. Which I'm actually very much tempted to do. And I think that's what I'm going to end up settling on. Which is a shame, because I really want to keep console commands to a minimum, but... I kind of have to here. Yeah, I think this will be a really good armory. So if we go to... Uh, I think it's Homemaker? And I think it's Fences. We've got fences here. Miscellaneous. No, it must be under the regular structures. Fences. Junk or wire? No. Must be under Homemaker then. Yeah, fences. There we go. Security fencing and jail cells, that's what we want. Where is the security fencing? That's what we want. Security fence. Always. Hmm. That's a point. Can we take this wall down? 
If we can take this wall down, we could make a really cool armory out of this. So you know what, I am going to take all these down. I mean, we need to clear it out anyway, so why not? Right now, I'm actually deaf in my left ear, so I've got both headphones on, but my left side is so much more muted than my right, and it's really irritating. <laughs> oh, the joys of things I have to put up with. Okay, that's perfect. So, if we do a quick save, does this work? Yes, it does. Hmm. Oh, that's awful. That's actually awful. Okay, I don't think that plan is going to work the way that that's set up. Let me reload that quick save. Oh, that was a shame. That would have been such a good idea if I could pull it off. Okay, we'll have to leave the structure unchanged. So let's go back to home makeup. Fences, security fencing. Security fencing doorway. Yep, that's good. Uh, maybe a little bit too much to one side though. That's better. And doors. We need a security door. Uh, no, that's not the one I need actually. There's another security door which looks similar. So that's mesh. That's the one, security gate. Is there not one that f ah, fits that way? Beautiful. So yeah, this can be a really good Minuteman like supply base. Oh, yeah, you're definitely not supposed to have removed them shelves. I'll have to make sure I put something here to avoid that. You're probably not supposed to step on here either, so I could repurpose this shelf into something else, which isn't an issue. Um, I could put a wall in front of this garage door and turn that into like an ammo and weapons uh, shelf and display unit. Could have like a changing bench, some lockers here for uniforms, maybe some mannequins. A bit like what I have in the penthouse in Sanctuary. Cool, so that's that repurposed. I'm thinking here needs to be some kind of barracks. So let's scrap all of that. If I stand here, it doesn't cause any glitches, that's good. We just can't remove that wall. This is quite an ambitious project now I think about it. But we're going to get there. We're going to do a really good job on this. <laughs> okay, you can actually manually remove that. I wonder. Can I fit a snap and build to this? I 
don't know why my thing down there isn't loading, but we'll see. Aha, I can. Uh, can I snap it to the middle though? Yes, yes I can. But why make it two barracks when I can just take this wall out? Let's do that. So if, if I can disable this, and I can disable that, disable this, disable that. Okay, good, and that doesn't cause any glitches either. So we can knock this wall through, which is what we want. We can make this into like an officer's barracks, which would be quite nice. I thought that was highlighting the bottom of the door frame. I thought, what on earth is there? Yeah, so I think this would be a good officer's barracks. I could probably block this door off with something so that people don't use it. Much better. I'm going to leave the column in there because it's, uh, I would say, personality, but that's probably the wrong word to use. But that's good. So we've cleared that out. This, um, this could be a retail store, uh, or hell, I could actually turn this into a, like a shooting range, actually. If I extend this wall out just a little bit further, that could be a good shooting range. Maybe like four people. Well, this could be a shooting range because it's much further in. You know what? I'm going to turn this into a small shooting range. Not as wide as I would have liked it, though. It's a shame. Uh, what about... Nah, it's not wide enough. And through this wall is this corridor. This could be a community rel relaxation area. If I do a quick save, can I knock this wall out? Uh, causes some glitchiness to knock that through, so I don't think I'm going to do that. It's a shame. Oh, I know. Bathrooms. Could turn it into community bathrooms. Yeah, because this is a transitional corridor, so I could turn this into like community bathrooms. That'd be good. But we need to scrap some of this out first. Okay, so. Good. Oh, wow. Okay, my throat just spasm no so let's remove all of this all the brackets, everything. Now this wall does look like a piece of shit. It could be possible that I could pad this wall out with something new. So let's snappy build the uh, interior build kit. And don't want any concrete. 
really doesn't seem to want to load my setup here. What about clean wood? Well, it certainly snaps. <laughs> Cracked columns, nooks and alcoves, windows. Wooden underhang. Snapping to things I can't even see. Oh, it's roofs. Okay. Uh, no. That's blue wood. You don't really want wood in a bathroom, you want tiles. Definitely want tiles. Now, these are just wood. Don't really want that. WLP? White? Oh, uh, these are all dirty walls. Don't really want that. Deco? Aha, deco walls. These look much nicer. So let's put a few of these in. could be a case that I could get rid of these altogether, these walls, because if this is in place of where the wall used to be, I shouldn't get any glitching, because I can put a column, if we've got a square column, No, we have got a rounded column though. Disable this shit that's sticking through like that. There we go, that's been rewalled, that looks good. Now, question is can I fit the same decorative wall on the other side? No, can I not? Oh yes, yes I can. The issue is, because it's one-sided, you can't do it from here. Don't mind a crack in the wall. I wonder. Right, let me quick save again. Excellent. Now if I go around the other side, has that affected the wall? No, it's left it as it should be. Perfect. And I think a nice column will fit very nicely on the opposite side. Though, I think this needs to be adjusted just a little bit. Don't 
doesn't quite match up. That should do it. All it needs is a uh, reflooring with tiles, and I reckon that would look really good. Brilliant. Um, so let's rewall the back here. Now, if we disable that and go around the other side. Yep, doesn't affect that wall, which is what we want. And put that there. Brilliant. Disable that side, because the uh, supermarket is made up of the same kind of interior build kit. It's not going to fuck with anything else, which is really nice. Still don't quite match up. But I can live with it. Yeah, that doesn't look bad from this side either, so I think we're good. Oh, look at that. I'm actually using the same texture as this side of the wall. That's quite fitting, actually. I like that. Right. Now, can we fit doors for the bathrooms? Yeah, because you can't see them on this side. Uh, they're, they're putting them a lot closer than they should be. Oh, hold on. Yeah, literally exactly where they should be. How far along does that go? Uh, literally right on the edge of the column. And just like that. It looks a little bit unnatural though, doesn't it? Hmm. You know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try and put in a proper a proper like open doorway here because these are all interior kits so anything in residential no This uh, kind of sucks a little bit here. I'm kind of running out of a few options here. Anything in Homemaker? That's brick on one side and dirty concrete on the other. That's not very nice. All of the doorways are dirty concrete. What on earth is that about? Is 
isn't very nice. Now nah, those are just uh, <coughs> general crap. Is there seriously nothing in the interior build kit? Which is uh, two sided. Now, because even the plugs here are one sided. No, of course. When you set up the build kits with the deco, and you put those door frames in. Yeah, no, those are just uh, wall, wall sockets. I need a medium. That's going to be quite annoying. <laughs> That's definitely going to be quite annoying. You know what? I'm going to leave it. I'll leave it for a while. I'm sure I'll come up with an idea. But we've got the, the basic premise there. So we've got community bathrooms. So over here, I'm going to make bedrooms. Bedrooms with a bit of a twist. Now we need to refloor the place, which is good. I reckon I could make four bed chambers out of that. And over here needs to be a security checkpoint, I think. So I could make a sort of reception desk here, uh, search posts with the Minutemen to come in. Uh, they can check if you have a permit to be in. Maybe have uh, an entrance way filtering you in from here to where the checkouts are. I'm still tempted to take the window boards off and replace them with uh, blinds. That's the word I'm looking for. Blinds. Okay, so you can... Hmm. You can only take a seat on a couple of these benches. That's... That kind of sucks. Okay, so... Let's do a quick save. Must have been fog I just deleted there. Okay, no glitching, that's what we like. So, disable these. Excellent. Uh, clean up the floor mats, because screw the floor mats. Personally, I think this booth here can go away. Uh, this jukebox doesn't work, so that can go. Uh, in fact, I think we can just gut the entire restaurant here. And then scrap this. So we're going to go Deco. We 
we can put our own floors in. But do we have a nice clean tile? Not particularly. Now nah, they're just plugs, so we can't really use those. We can do clean wood floors, I think. Yeah, that's more like it. We can put some nice clean uh, flooring down. Water platforms. Yeah, I think these will do do us a lot better. Uh, let's see if we can cover those up. Because by my calculations, all these cells should have a perfectly sized, perfectly sized floor. What the fuck just happened to that? Never mind. Did I just like punt it through this wall? Oh, why do I get the feeling? that it's right here <laughs> and I've just completely fucked that up. <laughs> oh dear. What do I get myself into? There we go. So that's uh, refloored. I like that. Uh, we have a lunchbox. Nice. I think some nice blinds over these windows would do the place really good. For a, a small community area. There, yeah, so we can do a proper trading emporium. And we can use the existing uh, terrain here. Uh, this shit here can go. Thank you. Yeah, so I, I think that will do nicely. I mean, we can, we can mess around with this a little bit. I mean, sure, that's the only real counter we have, but not a problem. So let's uh, go to the homemaker section, and I believe the decorations are here. Interior. On. Venetian blinds, Venetian blinds, where are you? Shower curtains, no thanks. That's it, Venetian blinds. Wow, it was really as easy as that. Shit, okay. Let's just pull that back slightly. Excellent. Now I think for these ones, we're going to have them up a little bit just to create a bit of character. Yep, like that. I think these can go up a tad. Like that. Uh, yeah, just so they don't look like shutters. Some nice Venetian blinds. 
Uh, if I'm putting the Venetian blinds up here, do they fit? Not really. Yeah, that looks absolutely ugly as shit. So, <laughs> tell you what, let's put these in. What is the command to make them bigger? 120, 130. How does that look? You know what? That looks good. I like that. We're going to do that for the windows. Put some scale 130 Venetian blinds into the windows here. Just like that. For my throat, got a nice drink. Brilliant. So they don't white look they're like they're put on straight so let's adjust them let's wind this one up just a tad one two three Really, I think bunker shutters might have worked better on these, but it'll make sense because I'm going to put another custom settlement outside. At least I'm hoping to. Don't really want to shut the uh, blinds up too much though, because let's face it, the look outside is fucking horrible. So I'll keep the looks out of public view. See, it's evening at the moment, and it looks really nice over there. Looks quite tranquil. Wow, that looks pure white from here. That was a bit surreal, but hey. Starting to feel a bit eerie now. It's too empty. Now there's no ghouls in it. Okay, so back here. What can we do back here? Communal room? Uh, private bedroom? Workshop? I'm thinking a workshop. Give the uh, residents jobs to do. Maybe they can make guns here. And they can live on the other side of the supermarket. But that's for another episode. So we've done a bit of beautification in here, which is very nice. It's coming along well. We still have a lot of work to do in here, but we're going to get it done. We're definitely going to get it done. So what I'm going to do is some gentle tidy up off camera, get rid of these crappy things, these broken shades, that kind of thing, things that I've missed. That I should have really spotted before and then I'll get back to you once we're ready to uh, crack on and get some actual living space out of here but until then I will see you in the next episode thank you very much for tuning in I will see you later bye bye and peace out <laughs>